what's up guys sorry i haven't been uploading that much recently i've been busy with a lot of stuff but to love you guys over while editing upcoming videos i might as well do this for fun but there will be a few rules one only plus tubers i've seen two no plus tuber with under 100 subs will be on the list three plus tubers that have quit slash been terminated will not be on the list and four most importantly there these are all my opinions. Feel free to disagree or agree with this list. Though, if you could take it with a grain of salt, then I'd respect that. Also, I'm not trying to start any drama in the plush community, because I know plush tubers can get feisty like that. Anyways, let's a go. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful with this. I don't know about you guys, but I hate ripoffs slash knockoffs. And unfortunately, that's where we start off our list with Super Bowser Studios. First, it's blatantly obvious that it copies Super Mario Rishi. Like, look at this thumbnail, and then look at this thumbnail. Bruh, this is the 100% equivalent of that meme where that one kid copies off the other kid's homework. And then he says, change one thing up so we don't get in trouble at school. Yeah, that's what it is. Also, the name Super Bowser Studios is really corny to me. The voice acting is trash. He's copied SMR characters. And the videos to me aren't even that good, especially the ones that copy SMR. Wait, that's every video? Oh, well. Here I go. I win. You know, the funny thing about this next channel is that it only has 115 subs. What? Well, that's the thing, though, because the Iggy Boy is an amazing plush tuber. But of course, that's not where I'm going to stop. The best thing about him is the Super Mario Plush Adventures movie, which is the video playing right now. It's one of my favorite movies and actually has a lot of heart and effort put into it, which is odd for such a small plush tuber. I also really like his Fear and Super Mario in a nutshell videos, and despite most characters having the same voice, I like them. My only real downside with the Iggy Boy is that at points the dialogue can be slightly awkward. Like, instead of saying, go check that out, he says, go see that out, which can be slightly weird at times, but despite that minor criticism, the Iggy Boy is the most underrated plush tuber, and he's one that I'd highly recommend checking out. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful with this. Oh my god, where do I start with the awfulness of Super Mario plush kids? Well, for one, they're plush suck, but that might not seem like a big issue, but just look at that stupid Luigi backpack thing. I'm not even sure what it is. But yeah, they also ripped off SNL, even though it wasn't a good channel to be good with, by making Mario and Donkey Kong's Dome Adventures, which obviously ripped off Mario and Bowser's Dumb Adventures. I think that's the name of it, but IDK. And every single one of the characters are annoying in one way or another. And I think, and if you think that's bad, well, the older videos speak for themselves. Mario's still an under, literally gave me pain to watch. Yeah, there are three plus tubers that are worse. Is this world still worth it? IDK. Super Mario Plus Kid sucks. No questions asked. Here I go. I win. If you were to ask me what was the plush tuber with the best editing, then without a doubt, I'd say Gabe's World. Like, just look at this intro. That's definitely something I'd never be able to do. And, and some of the newer videos really slap hard, such as the Hero's Revenge, which is probably one of the greatest plush videos ever made. I also really like the characters, with my favorites being Golden Freddy, Springtrap, Ned Bear, and Nightmare Bonnie, even though he was a bit annoying in the 2018 slash 2019 videos. But still, great plush tuber. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful with this. 
And now on to the ripoff channel I hate the most, Super Mario Region. I'm not kidding when I say this channel is worse than the last two channels combined. Not only is that a bad thing, but most of the time the plots are just non-existent, the humor is stupid, and all the characters suck. From everything I just said, you may be asking why isn't this number one? Because there are two worse. And at this point, I don't even know how that's possible. But no matter what, Super Mario Region sucks. Here I am. I win. I went to the plush tuber who inspired my Angry Birds series. Which is surprising because it's some random dude from Denver who has a channel called Snow Dodger 1. Even though he's technically quit, he's only quit plush videos and he's still active on the platform. But his plush videos I did see were amazing, with my personal fa favorites being Bubbles, Bean and Allergy, The Power Up Video, The Night of the Living Teddy Bear, and A Silver Face. I like his voice acting, plots, and definitely an epic plush tuber. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can never go wrong with that pinky globy intro. <laughs> Please don't hate comment on this video, but the second worst plush tuber is Sonic Team TV. Now please put your pitchforks down and let me explain why he's awful. After I finished watching his videos, I leaned back in my chair and said to myself, why, why the heck hasn't he been terminated yet? I really don't want to talk about this crappy kids channel. The only thing that I can say is that Amy Rose is one of the worst, if not the worst, plush characters of all time. Besides that, I have nothing to say about this cringe fest of a channel, but let's go into something a little less cringy. Here I go. I win. Now, this was so hard to debate on for who's going at number two and who's going at number one, but in the end, Luigi Fan Quad 01 is going to be taking the number two spot. He has many things going for him, especially variety. Like, every game series that you can think of, besides FNAF, is on this channel. My favorite video on his channel is probably the Angry Birds Final, which is my favorite plush video ever made. The voice acting is also better than most plush tubers. And of course, he puts effort into his videos, but there's still one plush tuber who's better. Before we go into the best and worst plush tuber, let's throw in some honorable and dishonorable mentions. Let's start with the honorable mentions. Bowser Power. His videos are pretty funny, and his editing is amazing. Too bad he quit in October of 2020. Banjo Videos. He makes Angry Birds and plans for his zombies plush videos. He was actually in my top three plush tubers, but since then, the quality has dropped a lot. Crazy Mario Bros. He has good content with a lot of effort put into it, but he doesn't upload that much. That's one of my biggest problems with most plush tubers. The cute Mario Bros. I love these guys. I even like their older videos, but sadly, they bit the bullet in October of 2020 which makes them impossible to put on this list. Super worrying, no bros. Out of all the plush tubers I've seen, they're the funniest. Sadly though, they don't upload a lot, which is holding them back from being in the top five. All right, now into the dishonorable mentions. Modern SML. Super Mario Logan used to be good until July of 2017, where he just went all out on making his videos stupid and boring. And the new puppets are absolute nightmare fuel. Dirty Mario Bros. A ripoff 
channel. The problem with this channel is what I just said, rip off. He doesn't just rip off Super Mario Logan, but he also rips off Crazy Mario Bros. And his videos just suck, especially his old content. Ice Flower Films, Russian Roulette Massacre, that's literally all I have to say. Vester and Friends. Before I found Vester and Friends, I was usually wondering why doesn't Goomzilla use his voice? Well, the reason is because it's cringe, and I wish VEF would notice that, because his videos are so cringy, and the plots are stupid too, like Yellow Yoshi's Hot Wheels car. Who comes up with this crap? Ultra Mario Bros. This guy sucks. His videos are boring and nothing happens in them, such as Mario's TV sickness. This video is basically just Mario staring at a TV, and that's the video. Now, this channel would have probably been number one if he wasn't terminated. And speaking of number one... I've been waiting to reveal this to, to the world for a long time now. About five and a half months. And now is finally the time I get to do that. And the worst plus tuber, in my opinion, is... Diddy Kong Power. Now, Super Mario Larry, before you try to come to my house and murder me, let me explain why he or she is awful. First off, some of the plots are dull, such as Dragon's House and Bowser Jr.'s new wand, and some of the thumbnails look slightly awkward. But from what I just said, it should be at least a D tier plus tuber, right? Oh, I forgot the voice acting. Now, I don't easily get annoyed. But the voice acting on Diddy Kong Power is one of the few things that can legit annoy me in this world. Like, just listen to this. Please, I'm going. Today we have a fun, and it's Iggy. And you want to know that? Tell us down below, do we get the pussy? And yeah. Okay, guys, let's get on saving the budget. Every single character is worse than Amy Rose from Sonic Team TV, and it doesn't help when they all have the same voice. To me, the videos just feel flawed without background music. And through all that negativity that I just explained, this person still manages to have 248 subscribers. Why, though? It's nonsensical. Ugh. Okay, I need to talk about something positive now, or else I'll probably explode. Oh wait, it's time for number one best. Well, let's go. <laughs> Star and have an amazing day. 